Look, I made a video the other day saying that the Atlanta Hawks are dangerous right now. And I want to say they are scary. Okay, I said they are back in dangerous last video. Now I'm saying that the NBA should be scared of them. Because I was literally talking, my friend was on a FaceTime call with his one of his best friends back home in Texas. And I was saying this, look, first off, veterans-wise, this team has Daniello Gallinari, you know, John Collins, Clint Capella, Lou Williams, Bogdan Bogdanovich, you know, Solomon Hill. They have the Lawn Wright, Gorgie Dang, okay? And that's just the vets on that team. Now, young guys, I mean, you could throw Trey Young now into the vet because Trey Young basically is at the end of his rookie contract, drafted in what, uh, 2018? So, yeah, I guess you say Trey Young's basically a vet now. Then, young guys, they have DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, Kevin Herter, okay? Then now we, we talk about Nyeka Okongu, who still hasn't came back yet. Sharif Cooper, Jalen Johnson. Like, this team is deep. And they still have Skylar Mays. And they were playing tonight, Timothy Luwalu Cavaro, who looked pretty decent. Pretty decent. And this this is a team that I'm looking at it. I'm like, wow. People were really counting them out. People were just looking at them and was just like, oh, they were, they were not doing well. But you know what? Nate McMillan did. Nate McMillan is a good coach. And you know how we know this is by the way he's able to use the beginning of the season to test things out. This is what good coaches do. The beginning of the season is the best time to go, and, you know, test out different lineups to see what would work and what, you know, doesn't work. And I think this an example of this was with the beginning of the season struggles. He was testing out lineups we had not seen, okay? And I think a lot of people were thinking he was a, a bad coach, but it was really him testing out lineups that he was toying out rotations, trying to make all the bench units work. It took him a long time to realize it didn't work. But once he did realize, the team got back to their winning games, winning ways. And we saw that especially with the Bucks game. And they started staggering the starter minutes and keeping a starter in at all times, even with the bench unit is what he realizes works best similar to what they were doing last year and this is what good coaches do they make adjustments they try they fiddle okay and right now i believe the best lineup they've been running is trey young bardon bardanovich kevin herner you know and john collins at the five and then at the four either daniel galinari or cam reddish okay and i think that lineup is amazing and it's just like Again, if you double any of those players, you're, you're screwed. You're going to give up a three, okay? And I think that I look at this and I'm like, this team, they have, like, once Jalen Johnson develops, he's the perfect combo forward because he'll be able to shoot, check forwards, and he also allowed John Collins to be the small ball five or even in the future be the starting center if you want to go forever small and move on from Clint Capel, but... I really love this team in the future. They have the talent to move on from the older players once the older players are gone. And right now, it's just like everyone, the shots are starting to fall. The shots are starting to fall. John Collins is looking like worth every penny. Four blocks tonight. And John Collins has been a menace the last few games, in my opinion. In the last 10 games, I know the three-point shot has not been shooting, but he has been like a 17 points per night guy. Like basically a steal and two blocks a game guy while you know shooting 53% from the field and still grabbing like seven, eight boards a game. And that's what they need. They have Daniel Gallinari, who his three-point shot is finally starting to fall. Like that, it's starting to look good again. And it's what they needed, okay? They have Lou Williams and DeLon Wright finally having actual backup guards. Like, I don't know if you guys knew this, but a long part of last season, they didn't have a backup point guard. And it's kind of why they got rid of Rajon Rondo because Chris Dunn was hurt all year. Rajon Rondo, they got in Lou Williams because they needed somebody off the bench to help score and do things and like right now you know if you look for like the season he's he's shooting 36 percent from three daniel Gallinari, but you know the field goal percentage isn't good but he's hitting the shots when needed and that's what they need and timothy luau cavarell kind of like i know he played tonight due to injury stuff they had but not bad not bad like in the last nine games i mean he's shooting 37 percent i mean not on a lot of attempts but Last year, he showed he can play some defense and be kind of like a 3 and D guy who, if you play him like 15 minutes at most, he can be decent. I just really like this team, guys. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Or am I... I feel like I'm, I have a valid reason for like liking this team because they're, they're good. 
and this is something people need to pay attention to so i want to hear your guys' thoughts am i am i wrong or am i right i feel like this is a good team so let me hear your thoughts